Hey everybody, James Jaeger, Tap Response. Thanks for watching. Um, optics, uh, so low powered variable optics, uh, fixed four powers, and let's say so. Guys are like the thing right now is should I get a one to four or a fixed four power or so a dot sight and a flip over or whatever the case may be, and um, and so we'll start this discussion with there's more than one right answer, and uh, so my thing is this what. I prefer, and we're talking about like a carbine, like a, a 14, 16, you know, inch, 18 inch, AR, 223, whatever, something like that. Um, so my thing is this, um, there's a difference between being able to hit a target at 300 and being able to identify a target at 300. So if I had my carbine or you did, and I said you had a dot sight on it or just iron sights, Hit that target, pa ting you hit, hit the target. You know, if I say hit the blue target at 300, boom, hit the blue target at 300. The problem is identifying it. Clint Smith says, uh, scopes don't help you shoot better, they help you see better. And so that's the, kind of what I'm saying is you don't need, you don't need anything, any optic, any magnification to shoot your rifle to 300 yards. And ARs and AKs are 300 yard guns, I don't care what you say. So uh, you don't need anything to shoot it to its full potential um so what do we need magnification for well we're the good guys we have to identify what we're shooting we also have to make sure as far as that that, that we're shooting the right person and at 300 yards you it might not you might not be and people are going to start talking about self-defense i'm not talking about self-defense i'm talking about shooting a rifle right now and uh, don't don't confuse a tactic with a skill or uh an equipment discussion so so I need to be able to identify what I'm shooting. And even if it's closer than that, let's say it's at, at 50 yards, okay? Say it's at 25 yards and somebody's hiding behind something, but I can see their, the, their edge of their shoe sticking out from a piece of cover, but that I couldn't see with my naked eye, but I could see with a magnifier, some kind of magnified optic, et cetera, et cetera. So there are things like that. So. I'm going to tell you in order what my preference is. Number one is a dot sight and like a three power magnifier. That's what I want. That's what I use. That's what I got on my guns. Um, a lot of people I know that, that that are in the know, that's a setup like they thought they like. Um, so that's what I use. And, and I, I know there's advantages and detriments to all of these decisions. But for me, it's either I got a dot or I don't flip flip. I mean, it's just, Flip it over, flip it back, just as quick as you could imagine. Flip, flip, just, it's, it's no, no power. You know, I can pop, three power, flip it, you know, psh, I like it like that. Uh, my second choice would be um, a low power variable optic, LPVO, um, with, with some kind of adjuster. Now, what I, what I say, I've said this before, but what I'll tell you is get used to going back to one bring it back to one, bringing it back to one all the time, bringing it back to one all the time. Um, so, uh, because I would hate to pull up and try to shoot something at, at, you know, 15 yards on four power. Uh, so just develop a habit of whenever you're done doing what you're doing, you take it back to one because you can shoot at 400 on one power, but you can't shoot at one yard on four power. Uh, so get used to always going back to one on, on that thing. Whenever you get done doing anything, back to one, back to one, back to one. Just make it make it a OCD thing. And then my final um, pick would be a fixed four power like an ACOG. While an ACOG is a fantastic optic, um, a fixed four power just I think is too much for a fighting rifle. It's just it's just too too much. Now people are gonna say, oh, but the Marine Corps uses. I okay, I get all that. I'm just saying we ain't the Marine Corps. You ain't the Marine Corps. And uh, so uh, if you if you're going to use an ACOG, which is a great piece of glass, if you're going to use that, you're gonna have to have some kind of 45 degree kind of sights of some sort. Uh, I like the ones from Midwest. Um, uh, you can also mount a dot sight. A, a, you know, a little aim point or a RMR on the side. I recommend not putting it on the top the sight muzzle offset becomes real far i think it's with that on there i think it's like four inches or something like that so it's a huge sight muzzle offset but uh you're, you're gonna have to have something for shooting uh inside of 50 yards and uh, even if it's just irons that you, you flip the gun and just use irons that's fine so in order my preference is going to be 
uh, dot with a magnifier. And if you're if you're on a budget, but you don't want to buy junk, that's going to be Holo Sun. And if you want to buy the best, it's going to be Aimpoint. Um, then next would be a uh, low power low power variable optic. Got to go with the probably with the uh, um, the the one to four uh, Trigicon. That's a it's a the AccuPower. It's a great little great little piece of glass. Uh, and then finally, a fixed four power is going to be an ACOG. And uh, so, and then and then the dot sight is going to be the RMR. So. <laughs> so I think I've hit all the major brands of optics there um, with, with a recommendation. Um, but uh, some of this is personal preference, but some of it's actually science. You know, like it, you can say what you want, but shooting somebody at 15 yards with a four power ACOG is not that easy. And your mistakes, <laughs> your mistakes, <laughs> your mistakes are magnified at close distance. Your optics shouldn't be. <laughs> I just made that up. Maybe it's sketchy. I don't know. James Jager for Tap Response reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.